Hello and welcome to Battle Heavyweights round four. Let's just jump right in. The purpose of this round is to talk about the return data type. In other words, what kind of values can be returned by both of these functions? So first we start with VLOOKUP where we're trying to go find the account num and return this account name. The account name is a text value. Equals VLOOKUP, go find this, comma, in table one, return the value from the second column, zero for exact match, close function, enter, 50, 20 wages, 50, 20 wages, no problem. Let's fill it down. 5021 salary, salary, overhead, overhead. So we look good. So what does this tell us about VLOOKUP? Yeah, it can return a text string, no problem. Let's try sum ifs, equals sum ifs. We want to, hmm, add up like this column of numbers. That feels weird. Um, only include those rows where the account num is equal to our account num. Is this going to work? No, it's not going to work. Sum ifs is a conditional summing function. It returns the sum. It returns a number. All right, so if this was the workbook that we're working on, which, which function are we going to go with? We're going to go with VLOOKUP. Why? Because VLOOKUP can return a text string. It can return a number. Sum ifs returns numbers. All right, so if this is the workbook, I'm going with VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP takes this round. So let's check our scoreboard here. And we have VLOOKUP 36, sum ifs 38, um, and that, that's round four. Hope this is fun. All right, we'll see you in round five. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.